After three home games in four weeks, it's a big trip this weekend and down to Bath. What are you expecting? Um, it's going to be really, it's going to be a tough one. You know, they, I suppose they're coming off the back of a loss from Leicester last weekend, and they're going to be, they're going to be hurting after that one, and they're going to want to take a scalp, especially at home. And um, if we're not on our game, it could be a very dangerous one for us. You know, so we have to be, we have to be ready for the physicality of the challenge. They're a very physical pack, a very electric back line, quite, a, quite a quick back three. So if we're not ready, if we're not ready for them, we're, we're not going to front up. We could be under a lot of pressure, but um, all we can, the best we can do is prepare, prepare the best we can, like we have done, and. Um, and just go out there on any given day. It's just a game of rugby. There's always a winner, there's always a loser. And just go out there, give it your best crack, and let's hope we're on the receiving end of it. It's uh, a pretty even matchup from from both sides in terms of you know big packs, um, you know outside halves who'd like to play, and and back threes that you know you look at. Let's say Ben Foden and Anthony Watson, two of the the informed fullbacks in the Viva Premiership this year. Mm. Yeah, absolutely, and um, I suppose speaking from a halfback position, if you if you kick loose ball to them, uh, they can punish you. And um, I'd say, I'm pretty sure they'd be saying the same thing about Ben Foden because he's been on superb form. He's been he's been carrying really well. Um, he's breaking the line constantly, and um, he's probably a player that I've been not surprised with. But I just kind of look at him in training, look at him in games, and be like, how do you even get through that tackle? He's like b- bouncing off two people, and he's been attacking really well. So um, yeah, it's good, really good, really good um, asset for us and our team. Inevitably, the focus has been on you and Stephen Myler in the in the match day 23 for the first team this year. But how impressive have you been by Sam Olver and Harry Mallard at playing for the Wanderers in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, so, so like they played they played at the weekend. They got a bit unlucky against Gloucester, but the week before when they played against Newcastle, the two of them were unbelievable. Sammy kicked all these goals. Um, that day, Harry was at fullback and he played against there last week as well. And uh, one thing, uh, Harry's got a massive boot in him, and uh, when he's kicking them touch kicks, he's making a lot of ground. And um, they're, they're they're training really well as well. And um, being at the one these are whether they're training alongside us and they're they're constantly putting pressure on us and it's kind of it's one of them things where you're always trying to look above you and see who see who you can who you can like who you're trying to push ahead of you but it's kind of with these guys you've one eye one eye over your shoulder as well to look up because they're coming fast behind you and I think that's the real good thing about Northampton Saints is there's so much talent and there's so much quality around you that it just brings everyone's uh, standards up and that's just only a positive thing kind of a cooperative um, cooperative um, environment environment exactly <laughs>